Hey everyone, it's Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to install PostgreSQL on your Mac OS X operating system. To begin with, we're going to make sure that we have Homebrew installed, and we're going to run this command right here on our terminal window. So to open up a terminal window, just go into your finder and type terminal, and you can go into it. I get to it with command spacebar, um, and then just copy and paste this from the description and run it and this will make sure that homebrew is all up to date so the first thing we do is we just want to press continue because it says it's going to install all that good homebrew stuff it's going to ask us for our password go ahead and put it in and now it's going to download and install homebrew oh, i've already got most of it installed so i'm all up to date it's good to go the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give temporary access to our directory so that Postgres can install some of the permissions it needs to on this directory. So we'll go ahead and give access there and then we're going to install Postgres. If you forget to run this command it might throw some errors and then you'll just have to use this command and then use your post install. But because we did this first we don't need to worry about this command right here. Then we're just going to try and go ahead and start PostgreSQL. And it says it started. The next step we need to install PG Admin. This is going to give us an actual view so that we can look at our database. So I have already downloaded it. And I'll have a link to it as well. So my downloads. I'm going to find our PG admin DMG. We're going to open that up. And then we're going to come into our finder. Get a new finder window. And then we're going to go into applications and we're just going to drag and drop PG admin 4 over here so that it's installed for us to use later. Okay, now we got it installed. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's going to tell us that we downloaded it. That's fine. We're going to open it. And then we're going to try and connect to our database. All right, so now that we got PG Admin open, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new server. The name is going to be localhost. And the connection is also going to be a localhost. Now, depending on how you install Postgres, it may prompt you for your user and your password when you use Homebrew, it just takes your default username and uses that. So my username is MiggyDog, and there is no password, and it just uses the default port. So here's the settings that we're going to use. Again, this is going to be whatever your username is for your user profile. And we'll click Save, and it's going to go ahead and connect us. And now we have access to our database. And it has this Postgres 1 by default. We can create a new database. We'll just call this one Northwind. Hit save. And it connects our database up, and we have tables. And I'm going to record a, another video on how you would go about adding tables and some of the stuff that we're going to use and do now with our PG Admin 4. So that's how you install PostgreSQL on Mac OS X using Homebrew.